Recently, I posted a, a screencast video on your financial lifeline. I got a few emails from people asking, how did I actually create this video? What were the tools I used? And because uh, they thought it was pretty cool and I guess they want to learn how to do that themselves. So uh, I figure I'll show you how this was done. All right, so this is a video yesterday. You haven't seen it. You know, well, just check out yesterday's video and you can, you can see it. And so here's, here's how it's done. Basically, this was on two pieces of software. The first one is, uh, is Keynote. The Keynote is a slide creation software. And it's, it's, it's an Apple product exclusive. Uh, if you have a PC, I guess you could use PowerPoint or any slide creation software. So what I did is uh, basically, uh, you know, this allows me to create the, uh, the individual slides you see. So this is slide number one. Here's slide number two, slide number three, and that's how I did. So basically, uh, as I was talking, I was just begin slide number one, and then I go, hey, here's slide number two, and I say, what's your financial lifeline? This is what it means, and then I get examples like your cash and bank, and as I go through all the slides, that's what you saw changing in the video, like that, right? So yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So that, that's how I did. That's how I did that part. The second piece of software I use is called ScreenFlow, and ScreenFlow is a um, hmm. How do I say? ScreenFlow is a, a screen capturing software. What it does is it records everything that's on my computer's screen. So let me show you ScreenFlow here by, uh, yeah, so this is a configuration recording. So this is uh, part of ScreenFlow here. And you can see that's me talking right now. Hi guys. <laughs> so ScreenFlow records everything that's on my, that's on my computer screen. And I, I have three computer screen here, so I can choose uh, which screen to record from, my uh, LCD, the, uh, screen number one or screen number two. And I could, uh, I could choose to, for the camera, for the video camera, uh, each of my screens have an LCD as a camera. So I can choose which camera I want to use. Like this is a camera number two and here's camera number one. So you see here, so that's the, uh, the, the second monitor here. And this camera here is my, uh, my camera from the laptop, I believe. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the, yeah, camera from my MacBook here. So you can choose the camera. So yeah, just choose the camera that I, that I want to record from. Choose the screen that I want to record from. And then choose the resolution I want to record in for my, uh, for my personal recording. And choose if uh, the mic, and if I want to record the computer's audio. So the, in case I want to have a video that's playing on the screen, it normally just doesn't record that. So I, I click that to record the computer's audio. Then what I do is I just hit record and uh, it will start a countdown and then I just start recording basically. That's, that's how it works and then when it's, so I'll just start my recording and blah, and start the recording and then I just, uh, after I'm done, I just hit stop and then it will, uh, it will bring up, mm, hold on there, we just create a new document, so yeah. It asked me, yeah, cause uh, yeah, okay. Uh, add to the document, good enough. All right, so, after it shows up, let me bring my screen flow here so you can see it. Uh, yeah. All right. So it will then let me reduce the size so you guys can see it here. Uh, so this is screen flow, the software. Let me reduce the size even smaller here so you can see this. There you go. Yeah, that's screen flow. So this is software, and basically, so this is the recording. All right. So. ScreenFlow will, uh, well, so this is the actual, the entire screen, the entire screen. The first thing I did was uh, I created this 1920 by 1080. This is the recording area. This is uh, the white part you see. So whatever I place in here will be recorded. And I purposely, and I purposely on my keynote here, I purposely set that to 1920 by 1080, which is a standard YouTube resolution. So I know that I want this recorded, I want this stuff recorded. And I purposely left a blank here for my video, for, for basically the image of me. So I bring back in ScreenFlow. So it records the entire screen, and this is my entire screen, if you want to see. So this is the, the whole screen. <laughs> yeah, the entire screen, which is like 5K resolution. So. I put that in the, uh, there you go, within the frame. And then this is the, uh, oh, oh, sorry about that. So and then here, me, and this is the, uh, from the webcam, webcam. So I just, 
you know, position myself here, like that. And then, you know, you can follow along. And, and that's basically it. And then after that, I just, I just hit share and export it as a, as a file. Then upload to YouTube. And that's how, that's how it's done. So ScreenFlow, I believe it's $140, the software. And the, uh, the keynote comes, for, it comes free with, uh, with a Mac. So basically, the only software you to buy is, is ScreenFlow. So, uh, or, but if you have a Mac, ScreenFlow, you have a PC, then use your Microsoft PowerPoint. If you don't have either one of those, you can, okay, you can use Google Doc even. Right? So hopefully that answers your question and uh, you can create your own screen capturing future video yourself. Oh man, check out this email. Hi, congratulations for being so successful. I would like to buy myself nice shoes for a new job. Can you give me $500? Greetings. First of all, if you're gonna email me to ask for money, the least you can do is actually say, hi John, or hi John Chow, or hi Mr. Chow, not just hi. And second of all, $500 for shoes? What the hell? I don't even have $500 shoes. What the? It, you know, it truly is amazing. Whenever I get these begging email, they're always asking for, hey, I, I need a computer. Can you help me out? I'd like to get a MacBook. Because obviously, because a regular PC is not good enough. Or I need a phone. Can you give me an iPhone? Because obviously, I can't be seen with an Android. Uh, I have a new job. I need some shoes. Uh, can you give me 500 bucks? I have a better idea. Why don't you go to your new employer and say, Hey, can you give me an advance? I need to get some new pair of shoes so I look good for work. It's only 500 bucks. And... Uh, See if, see if he lets you keep your job after that, okay? Yeah. We are back at one of our favorite Thai restaurants in Dana Point. This is Thai Daria. Uh, they have great lunch specials, but the, uh, the signature this year is that fish was a... It was a I forgot what fish it was. Where was it here? I can't find it. But anyway, it's a, it's a fish. Every time you come here, we order it. Unfortunately, like a, like typical Asian restaurant, the menu is too big. Way too many choices. Yeah. Yeah, like pages upon pages of choices. <laughs> Whoa. It's on fire, literally. Tan yum soup with chicken. Medium spice level. Spicy catfish. Oh yeah, look at that. Catfish. Red curry. And of course you need rice. Man, that was a good lunch. Let's go home. Salt and scrub. Seaweed body contour wrap. $90. Oh wow. <laughs> Eyebrow threading 12 bucks my words the things the cost of uh, looking good <laughs> got a comment here from uh, one of my viewers uh, Ali John could you do a video challenge of yourself showing how you would start over if you lost everything and had to start over, assume you only had $500 USD. All right, well, there's really no need to do that because the case study has already been done. My original blog online was started for the cost of a domain name, $9.95. And with no marketing budget, no nothing, I built it into a six figure per month monthly operation. All right. So, uh, already done once, I don't see a need to do a case study again. However, what I can give you is, how would I go about starting today if I only had $500? So here's how I would do it. The $500 will be used for the foundational tool, setting up the blog, setting up the YouTube channel, setting up the AWeber email list. So right there, you're looking about, I guess that's for the year's operate, for a whole year's operation, that's about 100 bucks if it's gone. That leaves you $400. Uh, $400, 
I would use that to buy, well, yeah, you know, my little sound recorder, combine it with my phone for video, right? So now you're out another hundred bucks, you know, with the mic, so now you're down to 300 bucks. And really, that is all you need. Now, it's just a matter of creating content every single day. Content that will give value to your readers. Just create content, engaging your audience and building up your customer base, getting the customer to subscribe to your email list. So, so you can build up your customer base. And with only $500, that, that's the only way you're gonna be able to do it. And actually, that's how, that's how I started. I didn't have any ad budget when I started. I just created content every single day. And first five years of my blog's life, I averaged 2.2 blog posts every single day. Even today, there's still not, there has not been a single day in the blog's history where there has not been at least one new blog post. And this level of consistency is what built the audience that today makes me the money that it makes. Right? So it's long, it's slow, and it could be painful. First eight months of the blog's life, it means zero, absolutely nothing. Right? So, but if you have no ad budget and you're limited to 500 bucks, this is the only way to do it. Now, there's no magic formula here. There's no magic like, oh, I just need to build a blog and then people's gonna come flooding in. No, it, it's not gonna happen. No, it's not gonna happen. I mean, uh, I haven't spent any money on building up a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel has been 100% all organic. Not a single dime has been invested in any kind of marketing or promotion. It's just a matter of creating daily content for you guys. You guys find value in it, you liked it, you subscribe to my channel, so when I put up something new, you guys come and watch it again. Uh, you tell your friends, hopefully, and you share this video, you like it, and that kind of stuff, and that's what builds the audience. It's a slow process, it's an organic process, but in the end, it's probably the most profitable process, because A, you're not, you know, you're not throwing away thousands of dollars on market that may or may not work. I mean, this is your time, all right? And this is, and yeah, it is your time. You should put a value in your time, but, Basically, I devote, in my case, you know, a couple hours a day, which is part-time. I mean, so if you can devote a couple hours a day to doing this, and you're willing to do this for the long term, that means you're not expecting to be rich overnight. That's it, first eight months, zero income. If you can go for months and months and months making nothing and know that at the end, it will all be worth it. You'll be making, well, in my case, yeah, totally worth it. You can, you can do it. Now, if you have some money, like you have say, instead of 500 bucks, you have like 50,000 bucks, then it's a little easier. I wish you, it's a lot easier because you can now afford to actually speed things up by using, by buying traffic, buying promotion, paying for advertising, that kind of stuff, and grow a lot faster. But uh, if you don't, the only way to do it is to use the money, build the foundation. And foundation two is a blog, a YouTube channel, your social media channel, and your Aweber email list, and perhaps maybe click funnel if you want to create uh, yeah, lead capture pages, that kind of stuff. But yeah, you, but you can certainly sell for 500 bucks. And, and uh, that, in fact, I actually started for less. Like I said, my, my blog was started for the cost of a domain name. Yeah. So hopefully, hope that helps. And uh, if you want the case study, I said my original case study, I started 10 bucks, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Anyway, thank you for the question. Any other question? Leave it down below in the comments. I love to answer them. Like I said, actually, this is probably one of my best, one of my best, uh, I guess, idea factory or my idea, one of my best sources for creating new content. It's basically questions from you guys. Right? So, um, you know, let's face it. Uh, I want to serve my community. So, the best way to serve my community is basically ask what must what must my community want. What do you guys want? So, you know, your feedback is extremely important to me. Uh, let me know what you think. Any question you have, uh, write it down below and I'll do my best to get to them. And I have to admit, asking me how do I start a business for $500 is a much better question than asking me, can you give me $500 to buy new shoes? One's a good question. One is a dumbass question. I like to welcome the good question and the dumbass question, well, you're gonna get a dumbass answer. How's that? <laughs> so that's it for this episode of Dogcom Lifestyle Vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys got value from it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode.